Right, how's it? My name's Mitch, and the number one question I get asked on this YouTube channel, besides what is your workout plan, is what's the difference between computer engineering and computer science? Now, I know you probably can't see this quite well because I'm filming it on a GoPro, and GoPro can't use it, so I'm going to hold this, eh, and hopefully not make too much, like, juddery noises with the camera in my hand. But this applies to Tux and everywhere else that does computer engineering and computer science. Obviously this is specific to Tux. And I'll give you my conclusion right here at the start of the video since I think that's probably what you're here for. And my conclusion is that computer engineering is hardware plus software, whereas computer science is software only. Computer engineering has a far bigger focus on maths, hardware, electronics, um, electrical systems, microprocessors, computer engineering architecture, it's basically electronic and electrical engineering, obviously a little bit easier, plus the most important parts of software, whereas computer science is just software and is just computer science and doesn't have so much of the other things involved in it. Some other things to remember if you're trying to choose between them is that computer engineering is a four-year degree, probably five if you're like most people and need to take the extra year. Computer science is only a three years degree and it's a BSc, whereas computer engineering is a BEng degree. At other degrees, it's a BSc engineering. At Tux, it's a BEng. You're a qualified engineer, it's a technical profession at the end of your degree, whereas computer science is just a qualification. But, you know, with the current state of computer science jobs, that's probably not that big on your mind. Um, some other things also interesting to note is that uh, computer engineering has maths in it, a lot of maths, a lot of calculus. Uh, I think you do five maths modules throughout the degree. It's intense, it's involved, it's proper calculus. You go all the way to calculus four, calculus five, I don't know, differential equations, it's proper, it's there. Whereas in computer science, the maths is, I don't want to say easier, but it's the simpler branches of mathematics. It's discrete maths, it's logic tables, it's truth tables, it's a bit of calculus as well. I looked at the study guides, sorry, the yearbook. Um, but that's also a big difference between comp and computer science. The maths and the physics is far more involved with computer engineering. Um, something to be aware of as well as computer engineering, at Tux at least, doesn't have any electives. So you don't choose which subjects you're doing. There's a set degree plan, uh, which I'll put in the description. You can go look at each individual computer engineering and computer science yearbooks. But computer engineering, there's a set plan of the modules that you're going to do throughout the varsity, and that's it. Computer science, you have some choice in the electives that you take. You can take some humanities modules with it, actually, like you can do some English, you can do some geography with it, uh, and then you can also do further AI stuff in that, if you're interested in that, too. But then, yeah, my personal opinion is that computer engineering has a lot more range and variety in it than computer science, but, of course, it's a lot harder because you're doing all of those engineering subjects. Um, the most, as I wrote here, the most important parts of software are included in the computer engineering degree. These courses here, COS 132, COS 122, COS 110, COS 212, those are all computer science modules, and the computer science degree does all of those as well, plus extra. But this is like introduction to programming, operating systems, introduction to object-oriented programming, and data structures and algorithms. Some of the most important parts of computing that are covered in computer science but past those subjects in computer science, I've noticed, here comes my biased opinion, that a lot of the stuff that they do in, a, uh, in addition to those modules in computer science is stuff that doesn't have that much practical importance, or rather it's very theoretical, and I'm not a big theory guy, and in the current uh, work market, current job market, I don't know if you'll be that interested in the theories, theoretical stuff as well. Stuff like software modeling, um, database systems, concurrent systems, security and ethics, um, computer networks, compiler construction. You know, that's not the kind of stuff that gets you a job every day. The kind of stuff that gets you a job, um, you know, coding front-end frameworks, or coding design, um, coding out AI libraries and neural networks, coding big web projects and that. Neither of these degrees will actually teach you that. Neither of these degrees are going to get you a job. I've got it here at the bottom. Neither will teach you to code either, apart from, you know, maybe a two-week period at the beginning of the year in COS 132 where they tell you uh, the basics of programming, what a loop is, what a variable is, that kind of nonsense. Past that, you're going to be completely self-taught. Every programmer knows this. Um, you're going to end up in similar jobs, especially in South Africa, where the job market is not as large and technical skills are few and far between. You're probably going to end up working in software in a big company. Depends on you. But you're going to be a bit more hamstrung, in my opinion, by doing a computer science degree because you have 
only the software component of things, whereas computer engineering, you have the hardware side of things. That what I'm talking about when I'm talking about hardware is things like electronics, electronic signals, linear systems, microprocessors, amplifiers, control systems, computer engineering architecture, digital signal processing. Um, we do lots of circuitry courses here and lots of signals courses here. You're working with voltage, you're working, with, um, you're working in the labs with microprocessors and operational amplifiers and you're constructing circuits on breadboards, you're constructing uh, things using uh, sensors. You know, it's very low level. You even do some assembly when you do uh, microprocessors. It's very low level, it's very close to the hardware, it's interfacing hardware and software, whereas computer science is far more software. This might appeal to you as well. If you don't enjoy the hardware side of things and you just want to code and just do software, then computer science is definitely for you, or even something else like um, BSc Informatics or Digital Systems, that's a different degree, I think, or Informatics, I'm not sure. Anyway, you can look at the yearbook, this is just my uneducated, kind of educated uh, opinion. And yeah, so it's very interesting. I'll read you this list once again. You can go look on the yearbook uh, to see an exact breakdown of what's in each degree. But remember, computer engineering, you're going to be working with the types of things like calculus, physics, electronics, electronic signals, linear systems, digital systems, microprocessors, AI, amplifiers, control systems, computer engineering architecture, digital signal processing. Your project at the end of your degree is a 64 credit hardware and software module that brings everything together that you learned in the degree to a four. The project at the end of your third year of computer science is 27 credits. Computer science at Tux, you're going to be doing things like software modeling, net-centric systems, database systems, concurrent systems, computer organization and architecture, security and ethics, computer networks, programming languages, compiler construction. And so I think that gives a pretty decent overview of both of the courses, computer engineering and computer science. I'm sure I've left out lots, and if you're studying computer science, you probably think I'm a bit of a moron, or you don't like me after watching this video. But it's just very interesting because lots of people are always asking me this, what is the difference between computer science and computer engineering? Um, they share, especially at Tux, some of the same most fundamental modules of computer science, whereas computer science focuses far more on software and theoretical computer science. Computer engineering focuses on the engineering side of things as well. Maths, hardware, software, and report think other engineering subjects like report writing, um, a bit of business in there, and a bit of, I think I've mentioned report writing already. So yeah, that's all you need to know about what is the difference between computer engineering and computer science at Tux. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.